Hi guys, welcome back to Mad About Designs. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this ratchet and pawl mechanism using Autodesk Fusion 360. This assembly is consisting of the base, pawl, and the ratchet. Here are the dimensions of the components and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification. I upload tutorials regarding designs for beginners and advanced users. So without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to files, select new design. The unit we're going to use in this tutorial is centimeter. Create a new component and give it a name ratchet. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on the front plane. Go to center tear circle. Select the center as the origin. Give it a dia of 12.5 cm. Draw another two concentric circles of dia 2 cm and 3 cm respectively. Now under modify, go to offset. Select this outer circle, drag it outward up to a distance of 1.25 cm, click OK. Now go to straight line command, select the first point as the origin and the second point on this circle and give an angle of 80 degree up to this inner circle. Now uncheck the show dimension option. To view our sketch clearly, go to 3 point arc, select the first point here and the second point here and give it any radius. Now we are going to assign dimensions. So go to sketch dimensions, select these two lines and give an angle between them as 20 degree because the number of teeth we are going to make is 18. So total angle covered by the teeth will be 360 degree. Now select this arc and give a radius of 3 cm. Now select this corner point under constraint click on coincident and select this outer circle so they will be coincided. Finish sketch. Here is our profile ready. Now go to extrude command. Select these two profiles. Give a distance of 0.5 cm and change the direction to symmetric so the total extruded length will be 1 cm. Operation new body click OK. Now under create go to circular pattern, pattern type bodies. For the object select this body and for the axis select this small arc here. Change the number of quantities to 18, type full, click OK. Here are the teeth ready. Now turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Go to extrude command, select this circular profile and give a distance of 1 cm. Change the direction to symmetric. and operation join. So all of our teeth will be joined together. Click OK. Turn off the visibility of previous sketch. Here is our ratchet ready. Now go back to our main assembly and create a new component. Give it a name Paul. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch and for the plane click here. So the front plane will be selected. Under create, go to project or you can directly press P to go to project. Selection filter, bodies, select this body, turn on the projection link and click OK. So the body has been projected on our current sketch. Now go to center tear circle and draw a circle horizontally aligned with the origin and give it a dia of 1.5 cm. Draw another circle from the same center 
of diameter 3.5 cm. Now go to straight line command and turn on the construction feature. Draw a horizontal line from this point. Give it any length but the angle should be 0 degree. Click OK and turn off this construction feature. Draw another line from the same point. This time give it a length of 1 cm. We will give the angle later. Now go to 3 point arc. Select the first point anywhere on this outer circle and the second point on this intersecting point. Give it any radius. Do the same thing. Select the first point here and the second point on this circle. Now go to sketch dimensions. Select this origin and the center and give a distance of 12.5 cm. Select this arc and give a radius of 7.5 cm. Under constraint, go to horizontal or vertical, select these two centers so they will be horizontally aligned to each other. Now under constraint, click on this tangent, select this arc and this circle so they will be tangent to each other. Repeat the same for this arc and this line so they will be tangent to each other. Now again select this circle and the arc. Now go to sketch dimension, select this line and the horizontal construction line, give an angle between them as 30 degree. Turn off show dimension option and the show constraints so the profile can be viewed clearly. Finish sketch, go to extrude, select these two profiles, give a distance of 0.5 cm and change the direction to symmetric. So the total extruded length will be 1 cm. Go back to our main assembly, create a new component and give it a name base. Create a new sketch on this front plane of our ratchet. Go to two point rectangle, select the first point anywhere here and the second point here just below this circle. Go to sketch dimension, select the center and the edge and give a horizontal distance between them as 4 cm. Again. Select the center and this edge and give a vertical distance of 3 cm. Repeat the same for this bottom edge. Now we need to assign distance between this circle and the last edge. So press P to go to project, selection filter specified entities, select this circle and click OK. Now go to sketch dimension, select the center and this edge and give a horizontal distance of 4 cm. No need to provide the vertical distance since we have already provided them here. Now go to fillet, select these 4 corners and give a fillet radius of 1 cm. Now press P to go to project again, selection filter specified entities and select this circle. Click OK. Finish sketch. Now go to extrude, select this profile and this circular profile too. Change the start type to offset plane and specify the distance of offset plane at minus 8 cm and distance minus 1 cm. Here is our extruded body. Click OK. Turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Go to extrude. Select these two circular profiles. Drag them in this direction up to a distance of minus 9 cm. 
ऑपरेशन न्यू बॉडी क्लिक ओके नाउ टर्न ऑफ द विजिबिलिटी ऑफ प्रीवियस स्केच गो बैक टू आवर मेन असेंबली यू कैन सी दिस एक्सिस इज स्लाइटली बिहाइंड द रेचेट सो अंडर मॉडिफाई गो टू प्रेस पुल सिलेक्ट दिस सर्कुलर फेस एंड पुल इट अप टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर क्लिक ओके हेयर इज आवर ऑल कंपोनेंट्स रेडी बट यू कैन सी नन ऑफ देम आर ज्वाइन टूगेदर एंड दे आर फ्री टू मूव रिवर्ट बैक टू ओरिजिनल पोजिशन बिफोर असाइनिंग एनी ज्वाइंट्स वी नीड टू ग्राउंड द बेस सो राइट क्लिक ऑन इट एंड ग्राउंड इट नाउ यू कैन सी आवर बेस कांट बी मूवड वेर इज द रेचेट एंड पोल कैन बी इजिली मूवड नाउ स्टार्ट असाइनिंग ज्वाइंट्स टू दैम अंडर असेंबली गो टू एस बिल्ड ज्वाइंट फॉर द फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट सिलेक्ट द पोल एंड फॉर द सेकेंड द बेस मोशन टाइप रेवल्यूट and for the position select this circular face here our pole is rotating in right direction so click okay repeat the same thing for the ratchet so right click and repeat as bill joint for the component 1 select the ratchet and for the component 2 select the base for the position select this circular surface here it is rotating properly so click okay now If we go to the front plane and rotate our ratchet here you can see the pole is not moving according to the cam revert back to original position in order to move our pole in accordance to the ratchet under assembly go to enable all contact set so the contacts between the components will be activated here you can see our pole has been moved according to the ratchet but the pole is not coming back to its original position in order to do so go to joint here is our revolve one that is the first joint that we assigned between the pole and the base right click on it and edit joint limit here check the option rest our pole is currently in rest position That is the position we want our ball to come back after the sliding. So click OK. Now, if we rotate our ratchet, here you can see our ball is sliding in accordance to the ratchet. And if we leave it here, revert back to original position. Right click on Revolve Two and Animate Model. Here you can see our ratchet and pole mechanism is working properly. Press A to go to appearance to assign some colors to them. I'm going to use this yellow, white and black colors on them. Here is our ratchet and pole mechanism ready. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial. Till then, keep designing and design whatever you love. Bye bye.